Here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, winter will make a, a brief comeback. We have uh, frigid temperatures in the forecast, some snow uh, Saturday evening, Saturday night. We do expect some accumulations then as well, so a lot to cover. First, we'll uh, head outside where skies are mainly dry. We had a couple of widely scattered snow showers last couple of hours. It's more the exception rather than the rule. I don't see much in the way of precipitation this evening and overnight. These are live pictures from North Kingstown, a clear to, you know, partly cloudy. Every now and then you get a cloud coming by with a quick flurry or a snow shower, and that's about it. Of course, the winds continue to be uh, very busy. We've had gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour, so making these numbers, which really aren't too cold for January, feel colder. It's in the upper 30s right now, including 39 in Providence and 40 in Newport, but it will turn much, much colder later tonight. In fact, we're talking about wind chills. The feel like temperatures by the time you wake up Friday morning near zero. So the winds continue for tonight, and we're talking about gusts anywhere between roughly 40 and 50. Again, widespread outages are not anticipated, but sporadic ones. We've had some reports of some trees and limbs coming down, but it's, it's very widely scattered. But the risk is there. And then the storm system for Saturday is a late day. It's mostly snow. There'll be some brief. There'll be a brief period of rain along the coastline later Saturday night. Accumulations are likely. Nothing really huge or excessive, but we think enough to impact travel, and I'll show you those numbers in, in just a second. And turning much colder, especially late tonight into Friday through Saturday morning, and then another reinforcing shot of colder air for most of next week as well. We'll point that out in the seven-day forecast. So here's the timeline on Saturday. We'll jump ahead. Tomorrow's fine. It's just, you know, sunny and very cold. Uh, the morning hours of Saturday look dry. Clouds increasing, fading sunshine, no snow yet. By the afternoon and evening, I'm thinking the start time of the snow is sometime between roughly four and six o'clock on Saturday evening. Mostly snow, but a brief change to rain and sleet, especially uh, near the coastline. It's a quick mover. Later Saturday night, we're thinking it ends at around midnight, and the early call on this is for amounts to range anywhere from one to four inches of snow. It's one of those deals where the one-inch amounts would be reserved for the coastline, where the higher amounts would be inland, especially north and west of uh, Providence. In the meantime, just a couple of sporadic uh, rain and snow showers passing through right now, but it's mainly dry. Most of the activity is in upstate New York as cold air rushes in. So one cold front came through this morning, gave us the showers and some slightly cooler air. But it's this second cold front that really means business as far as knocking down the temperature later tonight and especially on Friday. All right, the weather players that we're tracking for Saturday, uh, one, and two across the, uh, the Pacific Northwest. So both of these are kind of work in tandem and joined together. And as this arrives Saturday evening and Saturday night, it's gone on Sunday. In fact, Sunday is mainly a dry day. So while temperatures are not too bad right now, look at this across the upper Great Lakes and the Northern Plains. That's the cold air headed our way late tonight through all the Friday, Friday night into at least uh, early on Saturday morning. Getting real close. And as far as precipitation now through tomorrow, it's fairly quiet. It's just the the wind and the temperature that'll be the big weather story. So by eight o'clock tomorrow morning, actual air temperature, that's it, not the wind chill, sunny skies, windy, two o'clock in the afternoon. We're not even close to the freezing mark. And this sets the stage for very cold weather again later Friday evening and Friday night. You're heading out Friday night. It's clear, but uh, it's very, very cold. So for this evening, we're looking at the generally uh, clear to partly cloudy conditions by 11 o'clock, 28 degrees. For tomorrow morning, it is frigid. Temperature only at 15 to 20 to start. So special attention to dress at the bus stop. The wind chills, those feel like temperatures are going to be running on either side of zero early on Friday morning and then during the afternoon, the best we can do is mid and upper 20s. All right, seven day forecast shows the messy weather Saturday evening and Saturday night. Here's a different look at the accumulations. Generally, a statewide one to three with the lower amounts near the coastline, uh, slightly higher amounts north and west of Providence. This strip right in here can be anywhere as low as three to as much as five. So a three to five here and a one to three elsewhere. And that's Saturday evening, Saturday night. Gone on Sunday, dry, breezy, and cool with a mix of clouds and sun sunshine and high temperatures in the upper 30s to around 40. So while it's not a huge amount of snow, it's certainly enough to impact travel on Saturday night. And considering there hasn't been much winter so far this month, it's somewhat significant. We were out today, my son and I, and just the, the minute the wind would hit, it changed <laughs> your ability to stay outside much longer. I could feel the car on the highway kind yeah. of swaying. He yeah. wasn't happy when I told him it was time to go inside. <laughs> All right, don't